Hello guys, have a nice day to everyone. I am Rodel H. Bautista. I am currently studying at Isabella State University main campus. I am taking Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Marketing Management. I am going to share my learnings and insights about the subject macroeconomics. And these are the given topics I will discuss to you. Economic growth, unemployment, and inflation. First, we talk about economic growth. What is economic growth? Economic growth measures an increase of people's real income means that the ratio between people's real income and the prices of what they can buy is increasing. What does it mean? Goods and services become more affordable. People become less poor, which means a higher quality of life or the standard of living. Higher average income means economic growth enables consumer to buy more goods and services and enjoy better standard of living. For example, in 2016, my 100 pesos can buy only 5 pieces of 1 fourth sugar. But in 2017, because of the growing economy, 100 pesos, my 100 pesos can buy 10 pieces of one fourth sugar. So unemployment with a higher means with a higher output and positive economic growth. Firms tend to employ more workers, creating more employment. For example, in 2016. If employment employment uh, has a, a number of 1,000 people, in 2017, because of the growing economy and the opening of uh, many investors or uh, business establishments, many investors come. To our country because of the growing economy and uh, it creates more employment to the, the people so in 2017 for example uh, it rises in the number of 2,000 people second we talk about unemployment what is unemployment? Unemployment is referring to those individuals who seek a job but unable to find it. What are the causes of unemployment? There are many reasons for unemployment. This includes recession, depression, technological improvements, job outsourcing, and voluntarily leaving one job to another one. When a company experiences recession and depression, they need to lessen their employee to survive the company or lessen their, to lessen their expi, uh, expenses. To survive the company when a company also uh, experience technological improvements like for example in the uh, palayan uh, if he can hire 20 person to uh, harvest his palay but today when uh, when uh, Reaper has been invented, he only needs two or three person to harvest his or her palai. Job outsourcing. 
i uh, person uh, is a graduate of if a person is a graduate of uh, education but he choose had chosen to uh, to work as a manager lastly we talk about inflation what is inflation Inflation is the rate of increase of prices over the period of time. Inflation is typically a broad measure such as the overall increase or the increase of the cost of living in a country. Consumer cost of living depends on the prices of many goods and services they consume and the share of its goods and services in the household budget. For, like for example in 2019 we can buy one for sugar at the price of 12 pesos now because of inflation we can buy one for sugar at the price of 20 to 25 pesos it is bad news for you if you are saving money because the value the value of your money decreases it is good for you if you borrow money now the money you borrow in 2019 has more value than today because you can buy more goods and services thank you for watching i hope you learned something what i have shared to you